Hi guys, hello Aubrey, hello YouTube. Okay, this is my oh my god, my camera is going wonky. This is my contest entry look. I'm recreating the look that Fafinet or Aubrey did. Uh, I think in December of 08 and I really like it so here's my take on it and um, I used slightly darker colors only because I'm like I don't know 15,000 shades darker than her okay I lied I'm like 20,000 shades darker than her so I naturally use darker colors but it's pretty much the same thing she did so here we go Okay, so for base, she used french fries by NYX, but I don't have that, so I'm using um, e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Cream Shadow Duo, and I think this is in um, something pecan, butter pecan, I think. Okay, anyway, I'm going to take a bit of that on my flat brush, totally, and apply that on my lid and a little bit into the crease. I'm so sorry about my camera, it's going seriously wonky. Wah, wah, wah. I just hope you guys can see. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, so you apply that all over your lid and slightly into the crease. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take our gold color that I have on here. Um, she used um, the gold from the Heat Element Duo. Um, I'm going to be using uh, this gold from my Ilianta palette and the color just dropped off. Hmm, things happen. Nobody's perfect, I guess. So now I'm going to take the gold and pat it on to where I just placed my base. I love this color. It's so freaking gold. Gold, gold. Anyway, most of you are just wondering why I have a funky accent. I'm from sunny Singapore. Far, far, far away from where you are from. Totally. So I'm going to pack that. You can actually just brush it on, but I always prefer packing it because I think that the colour is way more intense when you pack it rather than when you brush it on. Okay. So bring that right up to where you placed your base, which is slightly into the crease, right? Right on. Okay, next one. Uh, Aubrey used uh, Satin Taupe, which I don't have, so I'm going to be using my bronze um, uh, MAC shadow. And it's a frost. It's gorgeous. I love it. So I'm going to take that up, um, with my Body Shop Blender Brush. Eyeshadow Blender Brush. And I'm going to go start from the outer corner. Inwards. And then once you get about one third of the way in. You start working it into your crease. Because you don't want a lot of colour on your lid. You want more colour into your crease, so work it. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. I'm going to go for a little bit more because I'm a colour maniac. I love my browns. Don't you guys love browns? Browns are like sexy. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to work it up to there and then I'm going to use my same brush which I'm going to swipe clean now and blend the edges of the brown. Okay, now she used vanilla pigment for her highlight and that's exactly what I'm going to use. Vanilla pigment. Okay, this is actually my sample that my dearest friend Sumi gave to me. She's gorgeous and I love her. So I'm going to be taking it with my same blender brush. And I'm going to tap off some of the excess. And then I'm going to pack it on first on the arc. Alright. And then I'm going to blend it.
Okay. I guess that's that. So, um, oh, I forgot the step. Whoops. I'm supposed to use the same color I used on my crease on my under eye. And in obvious case, she used satin tote. In mine, I'm using Mac Brown's. So this goes under the eye, the um, what the lash line, lower lash line, and all the way in. Okay. Now what I did for my other eye was put a bit of gold at the tear duct, only because it opens up your eye. So. Ta-da! Now I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, liner and mascara and I'll meet you right back. Okay, <coughs> so I'm done with my liner and my mascara and my under eye liner. Basically, I used Elf Cosmetics Waterproof Eyeliner for my lash line. And then I used Maybelline's XXL Mascara for my, mas for my mascara. And then I used my little tiny almost done Red Earth pencil liner for my under eye and I also used um, I lined my lips with a random red lip pencil and I put NYX Chaos on top of that and I also used clear gloss I know she didn't use gloss but I just wanted to have gloss okay so she used a matte blusher and I'm gonna be using everyday minerals all smiles only because I love it it is so awesome and the payoff, color payoff is awesome. And I'm going to be using my Everyday Minerals Kabuki Brush. Long handle Kabuki Brush. Smile! Okay, so I guess I'm done. This is my recreation of Aubrey's uh, holiday look number two. So I hope you guys liked it and I hope I did a good job. So yeah, thank you for your time. And here's some photos. Bye bye.